nope. <laughs> I don't know where you're at here. So, it's a... Uh, All right, I think I see it. All right, yep, you're right on, right up, right yeah, under it. Go ahead. You got it? Yep. Nice. I don't <laughs> Everything's oily and dripping. Not driving back and forth one more time. Had a leak in our main hydraulic tank, and uh, it's been leaking uh, pretty good for the last couple days. It's been, it ain't been pouring out, but it's been, it's had some, some pretty good drips out of it. So we figured we better come in and get that fixed before it ends up falling out and we burn something up. So we got that done. Um, I'm gonna check the upper roller oil right now. And uh, we'll probably go down and do a little digging. Uh, it's really overcast today. Rain last night. Um, it was definitely thundering last night when we left and we, on the way home we drove through a bad storm which that's not what hit here. What hit here was coming from a different direction but there had a bunch of storms popped up last night. And, Got it good and wet down there on the driveway, but nothing we can't uh, push through. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get down there and start taking care of that right now.
Oh no, maybe that one's down the bank. I don't, yeah, I don't think that's that one. There's two trees there. Dig it out right where you're at. Go down and grab that end of that tree and see if you can lift it up a little bit to get it out of the woods.
Well, y'all, we, uh, I wasn't really, uh, wasn't really planning on pulling, pulling trees today. But as you can see, we had some probably, uh, I'd say these things are good 60, 70 footers. Um, but we had to get some of this stuff out of the way so we can start, uh, or continue pulling dirt away from that bank and we had these things pushed down and they were kind of laying on the bank so i figured hey i might as well get these done so i think that's probably the ones that are in the way i think we pulled about oh i don't know maybe five or six pieces up um of course the last two swallow the chain i gotta unhook it lift it up mess with it that's a hassle but uh it's all good i got it out and uh I think I can probably go down there and start running on the driveway now. Uh, Zach went down this morning, pushed a bunch of dirt around down there, lifted a bunch of... What happens is, as I'm pushing it, I'm packing it down and pushing rocks down, and it's hard for me to get through there sometimes. So it's real helpful if Zach can go through there and, and uh, kind of just dig it up a little bit, mix it up, pull some of the big rocks out. Uh, he did that this morning, probably for about, I'd say 45 minutes or an hour while I was working up in another section of the driveway. So, uh, Zach's, uh, moving the bank away from the rock. Um, I'm going to go down and start pushing dirt down the driveway. And uh, I think that's probably how we'll end up today. Hopefully that's how we'll end up because that's my plan. So, all right, let's get to it.
All right, y'all, that's it for today. We're, uh, I just got through smoothing the driveway out so we can get out because I keep pushing all this dirt down there. Uh, we got everything parked right here. We're leaving it there tonight. Uh, got to go to Knoxville in the morning. Got to go to John Deere. And uh, we got to go someplace else. I forgot. Oh, we got to go to uh, the rental place. Yeah. Um, but I thought this would be a good opportunity to... Uh, so, I mean, it, our driveway didn't used to be like where that tree is. It wasn't up that high. But it was probably two-thirds of the way up that bank where that tree is it was it was it was uh, it came up quite a ways and then leveled out here we ended up we were digging and found this rock now down down at the end of the driveway it, it's there's nothing we we dig and dig and dig and can't find nothing but right here and you can see this rock that we were having trouble getting rid of, it's right there. That's the rock we found. It's the top of that piece right here. And we could, we scraped at it. We ran into it with stuff. We did all kinds of stuff to this thing. Drug the buckets all over it, wouldn't touch it. And the reason why is now that we've got this dug down and like I'm, I'm, I'm six feet below the top of that rock which was where we took the driveway down to because we couldn't go anymore. And now you can see where this is very solid. It's not like shale where a lot of this stuff, if you pick at it for a minute, you'll find little crevices that you can peel away. Like once this rock gets, once this upper layer gets gone, it, you can actually just break it free and it just kind of crumbles away. Um, I'm sure that this would do the same thing if we had a huge excavator and could grab it with a huge bucket, it would probably do the same thing. We just can't do that. We don't have that kind of power. So, I mean, we've been digging here for the last, I don't know. I don't even know how many days we've been digging here. A lot of days. We've been digging here for like... Four days? Five? Yeah. Four or five? Probably four or five days. Um, and we have, we've exposed a big part of this rock. Now this rock, it, it goes up here and ends up, you see it, that tree right there is growing on top of a rock. And uh, this rock, uh, let me take you guys over here and show you where Zach has uncovered more of the rock by, uh, you know, we've been digging at the edges. That's what we're doing, digging at the edges, finding the rock because I know you guys can't tell, but this bank is super steep and there's no rocks down here. So we know this rock tapers way back. It goes like this. So you can see Zach's been digging down here. And again, this thing is... Now, here's part of the rock. I'm standing on it right here. So if we want to get rid of however much, 10 feet, 5 feet, 20 feet, whatever, we got to start at the edge and we got to break this rock and we got to haul it out of here and i mean you can see this is one massive rock size of a house size of a building is what it is <laughs> this thing goes i i mean i don't know how far we are off the street i'm gonna say from here we're probably what would you say 200 or 250 feet maybe I mean, I, I'm assuming this rock, it's attached to the earth. So if you go down to where the street is, this rock is 250 feet from the street. Yeah. And if you dig down from the street, it goes, I mean, you could dig through this rock and end up in China. At least that's what I'm told. So this gives you guys a little bit of a different perspective of how much we've dug yeah. we've dug down i mean i'm we're we're i'm right now i'm at least 15 feet from that bank right there i'm at least 15 feet Isn't so it? what we want to do is from where i'm standing right here we want to be i don't know 10 feet 20 feet lower than where i'm at right now so so the driveway goes like that 
Um, most people would never do this. Most people would be like, yeah, we're just going to have a steep driveway. And we're still going to have a steep driveway. It's, it's, it's not going to be uh, flat by any means. But, uh, but yeah, it's like, it, it's super fun actually out here doing this. Breaking these rocks up, moving rocks, moving trees. Boy, I'll tell you what, that tree right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that is going to be another unfortunate circumstance of the driveway because think of it this way. If we dig this driveway 10, 15 feet down from where it is right now, and I think it's going to be more than that, the root system's going to be above the ground. It's going to be like those up there. Yeah, there'll be nothing to hold it up. Nothing to hold it up except it's gigantic. And it yeah, nothing to hold it up. It weighs, you know, probably tens of thousands of pounds. <laughs> that thing is probably... Um, that tree's got to be 90 feet. Yeah. It's huge. When that thing comes down, yeah, it's gonna make we're going to have to put, we're going to have to put that tree down right here on the driveway. Yeah. And when it comes down that we may have to cut that one up to get it up there. I don't, I, that bulldozer is pretty impressive hauling stuff around, but man, that thing is massive. I, I, I just, it kills me to take that stuff down. But if we're going to have a driveway and electricity and stuff like that, it, it's, it's, it's just one of those things. It's a casualty of war, I guess you could say. But, uh, so we're done for the day. We, uh, appreciate you guys coming, checking us out. Uh oh. Yeah. You don't want to fall down that way. No. Uh -oh, that's a long way down. We don't down. need to have any more camera casualties either. No. All right. I thought you guys were going to get a shot of me falling down again, but uh, maybe next time. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for coming and checking us out. Uh, we got some shopping to do um, in town tomorrow morning, and then we'll be back here, and we will be... Uh, honestly, what I think is going to happen is, I think what we're going to do is we're going to shove this stuff down over here. That's going to be the road up here. Mm -hmm. We're going to go over, dig, and before it's over with, I think the way we kind of made, dug this out, the driveway was right up there. We dug it down and came down here. I think what we're going to do is, I think that is going to have to be another landing for Zach to get down there and dig to find more of that rock to see exactly what we're dealing with. Um, it's crazy to look at this thing, isn't it? It's it's nuts. Yeah, think the, about the videos that we did the firecrackers in. That, yeah. That side by my side by side was parked out on dirt, like right here. That's the rock we were drilling in that thing, you know. Yeah, and it went way up. Yeah. It actually went up from there. Yeah. Yeah, on the other side of that rock, it went. Yeah. Think so anyway, guys, let me get out of here. Um, we'll be back tomorrow. More substandard coming your way. Y'all have a great night. I know we will.